White Snake have announced the addition of bassist Tanya O'Callaghan to the group's ranks. Tanya joins the David Coverdale fronted outfit as the replacement for longtime bassist Michael Devon, whose departure was revealed over the weekend. Coverdale said in a statement, Well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are very proud to announce and to introduce you all to our newest snake. Or should I say, Snakeette, please give a loud white snake choir welcome to the Irish tornado. A whirling dervish of a performer whom we feel will bring a fresh, new, exciting musicality and welcome energy to the band, both in the studio and on stage. Here she is, Irish born and bred, the one and only Tanya O'Callaghan. For whatever reason, White Snake has never featured a female musician in the band before. Bad boys. But when we saw Tanya performing with our friend Steven Adler's band at the M3 Festival in 2019, we were all blown away. An electrifying performer. When White Snake and Michael Devon decided to go their separate ways, Tanya was the first person we reached out to and thankfully she accepted our invitation to become a snake. We are thrilled and delighted to welcome Tanya O'Callaghan to White Snake. Let the music do the talking. O'Callaghan commented on her addition to White Snake in a social media post. She wrote, I guess the snake's out of the bag. What an absolute honor to be joining White Snake, David Coverdale for their worldwide farewell tour 2022-2023. This small town gal still pinches herself over the amount of legends I've had the joy to work, tour and record with over the past few years since I made the terrifying solo leap across the Pacific with no clue how everything would unfold. It's been a wild ride and just when I thought it couldn't get any better. Who calls? Only feckin' white snake. And the best part, to step into the snake shoes of my bass brothers Rudy Sarzo, Tony Franklin, Neil Murray and Michael Devon. Are you kidding me? What a fucking honor beyond belief. My heart is exploding. Coverdale, who turned 70 in September, recently confirmed that he plans to retire from touring after White Snake's next batch of concerts around the world. Although Coverdale will no longer perform with White Snake, he is still planning on writing and recording fresh material once he has retired from the road. Early last year, White Snake was forced to cancel its U.S. tour with Sammy Hagar and the Circle and Night Ranger so that Coverdale could undergo surgery for bilateral inguinal hernia. Eventually, all of the shows were canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic. Coverdale had both his knees replaced with titanium in 2017 after suffering from degenerative arthritis. He later explained that he was in so much pain with arthritis in his knees that it hampered his ability to perform live. White Snake had been touring in support of its latest album, Flesh and Blood, which was released in May 2019 via Frontiers Music SRL. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.